Hello, welcome to More Learn More Teach, where I attempt to simplify the complex. Hello, today we're going to talk about the leg bone, the human leg bone. So I have drawn here the human front right leg facing this way. So facing towards you, the right leg, that's what I have shown here. <clears throat> so I thought it would be useful to name the parts and then uh, translate them to English from, from their origin language. The majority of these words are Latin, uh, but some of them, like Schokanter, is, uh, is Greek. We'll talk about that in a minute. All right, so the big bone, right, the bone that connects the hip to the knee, that is called the femur. Femur is the thigh bone. The direct translation of femur in from Latin to English is thigh. So this is the thigh bone, the big thigh bone. The thigh bone has, or the femur, has some distinct characteristics. It has a head. This head is the part that goes into the pelvis, right, into the hip joint, which is a ball and socket type of a joint. There's a neck. And then there's the uh, greater and lesser trochanters. Okay, so trochanter is a word that was derived from the ancient Greek word of trochantier um, in Greek. In 17th century, uh, the French translated some Greek documents and translated this series of, of Greek characters to trochanter. Then the English took it straight from the French. So that's where this word comes from. It comes from the ancient Greek word to run. <clears throat> okay, so we have the greater trochanter and the lesser trochanter, and this is where the muscles attach to allow you to run. Makes sense why it would be called uh, to run. And so that's it for the femur. The femur is connected to the knee joint. Uh, the knee joint is a hinge type joint. And in front of the knee is the patella. Patella is the knee bone. And patella translates from Latin to English as plate, like a dish. Plate, shallow bowl, plate. Okay. Um, then below the femur and the patella, we have two bones. We have one on the inside and one on the outside. The one on the inside is called the tibia. The tibia is the shin bone or the shank bone. And direct translation from Latin to English is flute. And it looks kind of like a flute. It is the load-bearing portion of the, uh, of the lower leg. And the bottom of the tibia is the medial malleolus, which translates directly from Latin to English as the middle hammer. And this is the, uh, the part that protrudes uh, on the foot. So you would, you'll see this you know, when you look at your leg. And of course, this is connected to the ankle joint. The ankle joint is a hinge type joint. All right, on the other side, on the outside, we have a smaller bone, much, much smaller uh, diameter bone, which doesn't go all the way up to the knee joint. It is uh, connected to the, uh, to the tibia. And this is called the fibula, fibula or the calf bone. Fibula will directly translate from Latin to English as buckle or clasp, um, something like that. And it looks kind of like a buckle. So I drew, I tried to draw a um, like a like a belt buckle here, and the the little thing that uh, that would hold the belt portion uh, looks kind of like a fibula. So that's where this comes from. The uh, the little little clasp. Um, the fibula. And the bottom of the fibula is connected to the ankle joint, right? But the bottom of the fibula, the part that protrudes through uh, to the outside of the skin, is called the lateral malleolus, and that translates to side hammer in English. Thank you for watching my video. Please like and subscribe. If you have any questions that I can help you out with, I'd be happy to, uh, to try and answer your questions. Send me an email at morelearnmoreteach at gmail.com.